Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to be describing what is the difference between shin splints and compartment syndrome. Shin splints is a very common injury that people know a lot about, but people don't know very much about compartment syndrome, and sometimes these two conditions get confused. Compartment syndrome can be an emergency situation, so I want everyone to understand that there is a huge difference between these two conditions. Shin splints is an overuse condition that can occur in athletes who run a lot. In most cases, it is because an athlete is doing too much too soon combined with some type of biomechanical fault in the foot or the ankle. Most of the time that biomechanical fault is what is called hyperpronation. So there's an excessive amount of stress being placed on the muscles and the tendons, especially where these muscles originate on the shin. Shin splints can be on the outside part of the shin or on the inside part of the shin. It is much more common on the inside part. This is what is called medial tibial stress syndrome. The symptoms of shin splints are a deep seated dull achy pain in the front of the shin. Usually it is worse in the mornings. Compartment syndrome is caused by a buildup of pressure within one of the compartments. In the lower leg, this can occur in the front, in the side, or in the back. This can be an emergency situation pressure builds up inside the compartment and puts so much pressure on the tissues, including the blood vessels and the nerves. Symptoms include a deep, intense pain. Also, there is a fullness or swelling feeling inside the compartment, and if there is pressure on the nerves and the blood vessels, there is usually numbness and tingling. Shin splints is one of the most common ailments associated with athletes who run. The source of this overuse injury is the cumulative effect of repetitive stress on the feet and lower legs combined with faulty biomechanics of the feet. The deep-seated, achy, dull, throbbing pain of shin splints is usually worse in the mornings. The shins can be tender to the touch, Redness, warmth, swelling, and small bumps may be present on the anterior lower leg. The pain of shin splints is spread over a wide area in the front of the shin. The pain distribution may be as large as half of the shin. Shin splints can be located on the inner or outer aspect of the front of the lower leg, but it is more common on the inner aspect than on the outer aspect. The primary extrinsic source of shin splints is overtraining or doing too much too soon in combination with insufficient rest between training sessions. Poor biomechanics in the foot and lower leg play a major role in the origin of shin splints. Hyperpronation is a major intrinsic factor in the development of shin splints. Compartment syndrome occurs when the tissue pressure within a given compartment exceeds the pressure of the arterial supply resulting in ischemia to the muscles and nerves of the compartment. The etiology is varied but most commonly it is related to an acute trauma or an overuse injury. In the lower leg this can occur in any of the four compartments the anterior compartment, lateral compartment, superficial posterior compartment, or deep posterior compartment. Trauma is the most common etiology of compartment syndrome. Other causes of anterior leg compartment syndrome can vary widely. Compartment syndrome results from increased compartment pressure. When the systemic blood pressure is inadequate to overcome the pressure within a compartment, ischemia of its contents occurs. This disease state can be acute or chronic depending on the mechanism. Symptoms of compartment syndrome include intense pain that is deep, burning or aching, or a fullness, swelling or tense feeling. A pins and needles sensation, numbness or tingling is present. If compartment syndrome exists in the anterior compartment of the lower leg, 
an inability to dorsiflex the ankle may be present. The main difference between compartment syndrome in the lower leg and shin splints is the cause of the symptoms and the symptoms themselves. Shin splints is an overuse injury from doing too much too soon combined with faulty biomechanics. This leads to deep seated achy throbbing pain in the front of the lower leg. Compartment syndrome is a buildup of pressure in a compartment that leads to ischemia to the blood vessels and nerves. If you think you have compartment syndrome, please see a doctor immediately. The difference in the symptoms with compartment syndrome and shin splints is in compartment syndrome, there is numbness and tingling, and there is an increased amount of pressure or fullness that you feel deep inside the lower leg. So if you think you have compartment syndrome, please see a medical professional immediately. If you think you have shin splints, see a medical professional so that you can get a proper diagnosis and you get a treatment plan. I have already done a video on shin splints, so I am going to put that link in the description box below so you can learn more about that condition. But I want to say these are two conditions that many people get confused when they have compartment syndrome. They think they have an intense case of shin splints. Remember, in shin splints, there is no numbness or tingling because there is not that pressure on the nerves or the blood vessels. So if you have that numbness and tingling combined with the intense pressure, most likely you have compartment syndrome. I know I've said this before, but if you think you have either of these conditions, please see a medical professional. Watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Please see a medical professional so you can get an evaluation, a diagnosis, and treatment plan. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and please subscribe to my YouTube page. Thanks again for watching today's video on what's the difference between shin splints and compartment syndrome in the lower leg.